Hello Gemini, welcome to your next 48 to 72 hours reading. So Gemini, the messages that I put forth, they are timeless. Whenever you click on the video, that's when the messages can resonate the most. They're also general, so not every message will resonate. Just take what does and leave the rest. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, as well as Jupiter. So make sure to check your other placements. Spirit, give me some messages for Gemini. What is the energy? Next 48 to 72 hours. Messages for Gemini. What is the energy? Next 48 to 72 hours. What would you like for Gemini to know at this time? Next 48 to 72. What would you like for Gemini to know at this time? Next 48 to 72 hours. What is the energy spirit? Don't let pride get in your way, full moon and Leo. Bottom of the deck, look at the bigger picture. Full moon and Sagittarius. Oh, somebody could have a very significant fire placement. I know Sagittarius is your north node, but heavy on the fire. Don't let pride get in your way. Look at the bigger picture. So somebody could need to be humbled here. Maybe you need to humble yourself, Gemini. Or this could be going on with somebody that's energetically tied to you. Spirit, give me some messages for Gemini. Why is don't let pride get in your way here? For Gemini, what is the energy? Why is don't let pride get in your way here for Gemini? What's the message, Spirit? Why is this here? Why is don't let pride get in your way here? What is the energy? Okay, the Ten of Cups. Tell me more. Somebody could have allowed pride to get in their way when it came to a Ten of Cups situation. Somebody that you were in a partnership with or you were destined to be in a relationship with. You were destined to have wish fulfillment with, Gemini. Tell me more about don't let pride get in your way. Okay, now the Swords and the King of Cups. Yeah. I feel like somebody's stressed out. Somebody's worried. Having anxiety. Tell me more about the Ten of Cups. Why is the Ten of Cups here? Somebody did let pride get in their way. And now they could just be looking at the bigger picture. Seeing the situation for what it actually was. Tell me more about the Ten of Cups. Why is the Ten of Cups here for Gemini? What's the energy? Why is the Ten of Cups here? Strength. Oh, yeah. Heavy Leo. Somebody definitely was prideful. Um, somebody could just be very, like, stern, like, very cold. It's like, don't start nothing, won't be nothing type of energy. Like, somebody's just always on go. Give me an energy for the Ten of Cups. Why is the Ten of Cups here for Leo? I mean, for... Gemini, what's the energy? Why is the Ten of Cups here? The world, Leo, Taurus, Scorpio, Aquarius, energy. I'm just getting like change. Like it was just time for somebody to change. It's almost like somebody had already, everything had already run its course. It, the, it was just time for change. Like whatever behavior somebody was holding on to the that cycle when it comes to operating and that energy was just over it was done it was just time for something new it was time to do something different give me an energy for strength why is strength here for gemini what's the energy why is strength here for gemini what's the message spirit why is strength here what is the energy Messages for Gemini. Why is strength here? What is the energy spirit? The King of Swords. Oh, yeah. Somebody could be like very brutal with their words. Like a lash out. Even publicly. Somebody could do this online as well. Somebody could just not be... Um, again, like even tempered. Like somebody's not balanced when it comes to their temper. Somebody could just be very manipulative, just very cold, like just say anything and not fully thinking through. Tell me more about the Nine of Swords. 
Why is the Nine of Swords here? So for some of you, I feel like this person is coming out of this King of Swords in the reverse energy, is getting into the King of Cups energy. And as this person gets into this King of Cups energy, as somebody develops like a lot of emotional balance, that's when they can fully see the error of their ways and they don't like what they see. It's like somebody pride causes them to act completely out of character tell me more about the nine of swords why is the nine of swords here for gemini what's the energy spirit why is the nine of swords here for gemini what is the message why is the nine of swords here what's the energy Messages for Gemini. The Ace of Cups. Because somebody had an Ace of Cups. Opportunity, new love, a lot of blessings, um, emotional abundance. And they sabotaged it with their mouth, with their energy, their behavior. Tell me more about the Nine of Swords. Why is the Nine of Swords here for Gemini? What is the energy? Why is the Nine of Swords here for Gemini? What's the message spirit? Why is the Nine of Swords here? What's the energy? The Eight of Cups. Somebody walked away. Somebody's pride and, and just thinking they know it all. This is somebody who feels like they're smarter than they actually are. They think they know everything. Somebody just walked away from the Ace of Cups and they see it now. Tell me more about the Ace of Cups. Why is the Ace of Cups here for Gemini? What's the energy? Why is the Ace of Cups here? The Six of Swords in the reverse with the Ten of Wands. Somebody wants to come back because they're burdened. Somebody wants to come back. It's like somebody don't want to let you go. With Gemini, you don't want to let this person go. Something that also has to do with a pregnancy. Somebody could have left you with child and now this person wants to return. Somebody left you while you were pregnant. Tell me more about the Six of Swords in the reverse. Why is the Six of Swords in the reverse here for Gemini? What's the energy spirit? Why is the Six of Swords here? What is the energy? Messages for... Gemini, Seven of Cups. I feel like for some of you, this is somebody that had options. I also feel like this is somebody that was like in a full-blown illusion. Somebody could definitely wear a mask here as well. I'm getting like somebody don't know what they're coming back to. Somebody's coming back, but they don't know what they're coming back to. Or Gemini, this person that wants you to reconcile with them. It's like, you don't know what you're coming back to. I feel like you view this person, this entire situation as a Ten of Wands, as something that's just going to greatly burden you. And I feel like with the Four of Cups, you don't want to go. Tell me more about the Eight of Cups. Why is the Eight of Cups here for Gemini? What's the energy? Why is the Eight of Cups here for Gemini? What's the energy spirit? Now, for some of you too, this is somebody who could have went back to another person because of a child, Ace of Cups, a pregnancy, and it just created a lot of burdens. It was just a, a full-blown mess, an illusion. Somebody thought, you know, they was getting something that they weren't. And now this person is deciding to walk away or you are your queen of cups. <laughs> Tell me more about the eight of cups, the seven of swords and the queen of swords. Somebody has their guard up. And for some of you, somebody has their guard up towards like the mother of their child or children. Um, I feel like whoever this person connected with, this is somebody that like, I'm hearing told what to do. This is somebody that likes to be a dictator. This is somebody that likes to tell this masculine energy what to do. And this person don't have time for that. Somebody's trying to block this person from leaving, from walking away. Tell me more about the Queen of Swords. Why is the Queen of Swords here 
for Gemini. What's the energy? Lots of Queen of Swords here. The Empress. I feel like somebody, I'm hearing like present. I feel like somebody um, is presenting you or has presented you to this person. But I feel like whoever this Queen of Cups energy is did not want this masculine to see you. Did not want this masculine um, to choose you. To see how worthy you were, your value. I'm hearing like for some of you, like this person didn't want this masculine energy to fall in love with you. To want to build a life with you. So for some of you, a, a pregnancy is how this person was able to manipulate the situation. Get this masculine to return. Tell me more about the King of Cups. Why is the King of Cups here? Somebody could actually be saying that they are pregnant in hopes that somebody would return back to them with the Empress on top of the Queen of Swords. Tell me more about the King of Cups, the Six of Wands. Tell me more about the King of Cups. Why is the King of Cups here for Gemini? What's the energy? Why is the King of Cups here for Gemini? What's the message? The Three of Cups. Yeah. This is somebody who's like a lover boy, like who likes third parties, is known to get around. And, and that's just what it is. This is somebody who has options. Something definitely has to do with somebody having a child, getting pregnant. <sighs> Tell me more about the Six of Wands. Why is the Six of Wands here for Gemini? What's the energy? Um, the Ace of Wands and the Magic. Oh, yeah. Somebody is, like, very lustful. Extremely, extremely lustful. Um, somebody likes to have their options. They like to have their cake and eat it, too. That's just what it is. Tell me more. Somebody loves third parties. Three of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Tell me more about the Three of Cups. Why is the Three of Cups here for Gemini? What's the energy? Why is the Three of Cups here for Gemini? What's the energy spirit? Why is the Three of Cups here for Gemini? What's the message? The High Priestess. Somebody's been hiding a third party. That's what this is. For some of you, somebody has a mistress that they deal with. Tell me more. For some of you, Eight of Pentacles, these two people could work together. Tell me more about the Magician. Why is the Magician here for Gemini? What's the energy? Why is the Magician here for Gemini? What's the energy spirit? Why is the Magician here? The night, uh, Yeah, um, somebody get around. That's what this is. <laughs> Somebody's like a lover boy or a lover girl. Like they they love it there. They have options. Um, for some of you, this is somebody that was very cold to you, very mean to you. Um, I feel like by this person not choosing you, for some of you rejecting you, for others of you, the situation just didn't work out. It was a blessing in disguise, you know, where you were rejected. That definitely was for your protection because this is somebody that likes to deal with multiple people anyway so this was spirit god protecting you from whoever this masculine or feminine energy is i feel like there could also be a lot of talk going on about this person's behavior antics tell me about don't let pride get in your way why is this here for gemini why does don't let pride get in your way here for gemini what's the message spirit why is this here the emperor and the eight of swords you know what this is somebody that likes control this is somebody too oh wow that likes for people to be stuck on them <laughs> like this person loves when people um pretty much go crazy over them especially when it comes to the passion the intimacy i feel like that's how this person is able to lure women or men in by being in this Knight of Wands energy. 
But this person loves for people to be stuck on them, caught up on them, you know, to be crazy over them, almost obsessed. Like pride, this gives this masculine an ego boost. That's what this is. Somebody's always feeding their ego when they do so through lust by dealing with multiple people, having options. Tell me about look at the bigger picture. Why is look at the bigger picture here for Gemini? What is the energy? Why is look at the bigger picture here for Gemini? What is the message spirit? The lover. Yeah, this is somebody who likes options. So I don't know if this is confirmation. For some of you, this could be a Gemini. For some of you, this could be you. But yeah. Um, for some of you, somebody have a choice or had a choice when it came to keeping their options or settling down and somebody just chose to continue to play the field, to be non-committal, whether or not this person is actually in a relationship. If they are, they're not being committed to who they're with. Or this could be somebody that you're currently dealing with or that you have dealt with through your source. But it's all about heartbreak. Heartbreak Hotel. That's what I'm going to name this reading. Welcome to the Heartbreak Hotel because that's what this person going to do. Break your heart. I'm telling you, I feel like this is confirmation for someone. Give me a final message for Gemini. What is the energy? Give me a final message for Gemini. What is the energy spirit? Next 48 to 72. Give me a final message for Gemini. What is the energy? Next 48 to 72. The nine of cups. Somebody's very prideful. Somebody also overindulges. They like a lot. It's just... <sighs> Nothing's ever enough. Somebody always want more and more and more. Five of cups at the bottom. But this is somebody that's going to be in regret. I feel like... Once this person is ready to settle down, they're they're not going to be able to find anyone. I feel like this, this is somebody that's going to run all the good prospects away. I feel like this is somebody that ran you away. Or Gemini, like I said, this is your energy. This is somebody that puts you in competition. I feel like this person is going to be in deep regret about that. You know, 2020 is hindsight. Let's pull a final message. Spirit, give me a final message for Gemini. What's the energy? Give me a final message for Gemini. What's the energy, Spirit? Give me a final message. What is the energy? I have... I am able to create positive changes in my life. And the key word is I am. It starts with you or it starts with this person. Somebody has to make that choice themselves. So you cannot change anyone. Somebody needs to hear this. You cannot change anyone. I don't care how good you are, how good of a man, how good of a woman you are. That's something this person has to make up in their mind for themselves. And they have to be willing to put in the work to create the change they desire to see in themselves, in their life. You know, once you change, everything around you changes. And this person has to be willing to figure that out, to put in the effort for themselves. I am able to create positive changes. I am. The key word is I. This person has to want it. You can't force it. Regardless of how much you may desire it, you know, how much you keep this person under prayer. Definitely, if you are doing that, continue to do that. But in the end... We all have free will. Somebody has to make up in their own mind that that's what they want. You can't force it upon someone to change, to be better, to want better for themselves, to look at the bigger picture. Life is a self journey. So Gemini, this is your reading. Stay true to thyself and real with thyself. Grow with me as I grow with you. Stay blessed.